Because you like him. Leave him alone. Mm -hmm. I don't get that. Hi. I don't get is is I don't I don't I don't know what they expect to happen when you say something. <laughs> like no, that's like somebody no, coming to me telling about me something you. about you. And you, you know how many messages I got about you? And I'll be like, yo, what do you think is gonna happen to this message? You think I'm gonna be like, all right, thank you, stranger. Hey, Lady Grim, I'm not doing this no more with you. <laughs> like, what do you, what do you think is gonna happen? <laughs> People are crazy, man. I thought I was crazy. Like literally. <laughs> Stick to the topic or don't hop in the box. If you got beef with him, I'm sure he can handle his own. That's really that That's simple. Leave his shit out of my life. He leaves your shit out of my life. That's what grown people do. Talk I really don't even know who it is. I ain't even gonna lie. I, I, I couldn't point him out out of a lineup. I, did, I couldn't remember his interaction with me, period, either. I didn't even know who he was. Me neither. I He's like, you remember me? You got to remember me. You remember me. I remember me. No, nobody remembers you. Who are you? What are you talking about? <laughs> you know how many people we talk to every day on here? <laughs> Jesus. People think they're so special. <laughs> so honestly, anything can be racist. Think about it. The sun is racist in itself towards the white people. Um, sure. Um... Hey, so how, I, I, into the I, definition, let me know. Jump in the box. Hey, am I a mod on this page? I thought I was. I thought you, I thought you I'm, were, Oh, this is Lady Hatred. I, I don't think I'm a mod from this year. Mod me on, on this account. Yo, oh, I thought you were on Lady Grim. Confusing. I, have, I was about to. You know what? To, you messed but, up my speech. I was going to send him to Blickety Black Land, and I couldn't do it because I'm not a mod. Yeah, oh, you man. are. You are still a mod. Hold up. Let me see. No, I'm not. It says report cancel. It doesn't give me an option. Okay, but um, yes, you are. Because I click you, I click your name, and then it says report me, block, manage, monitor, access, moderator access. And you have every access. Here. Right. You know what? Uh, all right, yeah, cool, whatever. You know what? I'm um, going to comment. I'm going to comment another page. Like, look, look, look at the comment section. Mod that page, too, and see if that works. That that's my if you see it, it's a uh, street underscore because sometimes it takes out be tricky or something like. No, I it doesn't. Got right. I got you. So I just modded you there. Okay. Um. Back to it. The discussion isn't about me and Lady Grim. We're not here to talk about ourselves, even though we are very interesting. We're here to talk about the topics, though. No, and that's slander. Don't bring that up again, or you're gonna get blocked. I'm sorry. I didn't even catch that. I did. That shit was, I can't stand that. No, if you're so invested in him, then do your research and stop just throwing out shit you hear from people who dislike him. Anyways, the live is not about him. So if you have something contri to contribute to the conversation, contribute it or not. And use the proper some. definitions because I've had so many people come in here using terms like disingenuous or, 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 or of uh, gaslighting and they're using it completely wrong and out of context so wait wait mrs go f yourself i remember you come up in the box what's up i i, I don't even rem i don't even know what you're saying you're, how are you saying that i don't understand i i had a i had a live with mrs go f yourself before about um about some stuff i remember her nobody can cancel me because the truth will always will always set you free and you and the truth will always win and that's just what it is I don't go against guidelines. I talk what I talk about. I'm passionate about this because I have children who I want to live in a better society. And if you don't like it, then you can do what your name says. Oh, you were being sarcastic. I know, I know, I know you were being sarcastic because I remember we did that live together. I, I that's why I didn't take it as as you being for real. I was like, I remember you. Oh, sorry then, my bad. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm sorry. No, no, no. She did a live with me. And her friends, um, no, her, I don't even know if her friends, her like EB and Patrick got mad and they had a whole live where I asked her why, why, why would she ever do a live with me? I don't even <laughs> want to mention their name. Just say the oh, my God. <laughs> It's just so funny. Yeah. I'll make myself laugh. Name for them. I don't want their energy or their names on my lives. No power. True, true, true. true. Um, here we go. Got you, girl. Yeah. 
hey. What's up? How are y'all? Cool. Man. Yeah. So, wait, what, what's your opinion on the topic in the back? Because I don't know. You do know. <laughs> Not really. I don't know. I don't um, think we ever talked about that. I don't think that you can necessarily be racist to white people, but I do think that you could be discriminatory or you could be prejudiced. Give me a ra- Give me a racist. Give me an example of what d- being discriminatory towards a racist person. Oh, did she pass? Yes, I did on accident. Okay. So <laughs> tell me, a, like, give me an example of what a discriminatory behavior would look like towards a white person. You know, the, the nicknames that uh, people of color have for us, like um, napkin, <laughs> um, paper. So, so based off race, a, a nickname based mm-hmm. off race is discriminatory? I mean, I think that the people get treated like that when, when we're white because of history. So, Well, I'm, I have white skin and I have nothing to do with that history so i mean i have white skin and i don't have anything to do with that history either but so why would the history is there well why would you accept it if, if you didn't if you particularly didn't do anything yeah what do you mean and like w- like would you accept somebody calling you napkin i mean i don't really give a fuck yeah. but you can call you me whatever you can call me you can call me whatever the hell you want i really don't care you know what i mean and I think that's the problem. I think the problem is people not caring enough because then you open that doorway to allow racist behavior to continue to people who are undeserving of it. Hmm. I mean, what- my question would be is is what discrimination or racism could a white person um, endure that could put their life at risk? Uh, like, they could get oh, beat up for being... Walking outside can put your yeah. life... Well, I mean, but nobody's beating people up because they're white. I mean, let's that's be honest. Untrue. That's that's, how- I, I, I've seen it. We are. Yeah, I've, I've I mean, have you ever been to Maryland? Have you ever been to Detroit? No, I'm a, I'm from the East Coast. Chicago. I mean, it, it's happened. I mean, I'm I'm from the East Coast, so no. Hey, you get out of here. No, it's no, not no. your summer day, day. Yeah. I mean, if you want to talk about stuff that's documented, it's kind of hard. I I could just talk about personal experience. I mean. I don't think they really cover that kind of stuff on the news. Not going to be very hyper fixated on situations like that because then it changes the narrative and uh, you're. It's not going to do what it wants the public to do, which is think you know, racist white people are the only thing that exists. So, you can I ask you a question? So, if you think that white people can experience racism, right? Um, what like barrier of protection would BIPOC people have in America when it comes to like? Like serious uh, discrimination and and racism, like 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 physically being harmed based off a of skin tone or not being hired based off a of skin tone, like you know what I mean. Like if I could just walk in and be like, oh, you know, um, Janaya over there is being racist to me, you know what I mean. Like that kind of takes away the boundary for people of color who actually have been discriminated over time, like a long period of time in in America. Does that make sense? Did I word that wrong? Make it make your question a little more simple because I'm I'm losing you. Okay, so like, so so racism, like the the protection against racism in America is put there for like by the BIPOC community who have historically yeah. faced oppression, um, and and systematic racism, and also like personal racism when it comes to you know being unalive and stuff like that based off of race. So if white people have access to sit there and say that people are racist to them, mm-hmm. can they not take advantage of that? Like take advantage of it and just call people racist for no reason? No, like if I could just walk in and be like, oh, you know, this person was mean to me, they would be racist to me just because my feelings are hurt. When there's actually no like racism behind it. Well, for one, I don't think anybody should be saying anybody's being racist just because your feelings are hurt. But I think you should 100 percent call it out when the racist behavior is based off your skin color. Absolutely. Period. If it's just because somebody don't like you because of whatever reason, if it has nothing to do with race, then no, you shouldn't cry racist behavior. If it's if it 100 percent has to do with race, then yes. Yes. But I mean, BIPOC people experience things like microaggressions and stuff like that, that maybe on like the front line doesn't actually look like racism, but it actually is. 
I don't yeah, explain I also, it as nothing. I also think a lot of people like to a lot a lot of people like to um what's the word I'm looking for? Um over exaggerate situations. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, I think well, people can assume at all day, every day, what they think happened to them. Exactly. But microaggressions, like, come on, man. like, well, what does that even mean? So what? Like, anybody could be, like, in my opinion, anybody could be racist towards anybody. So you could assume all day why somebody did something, why somebody looked at you, why. But that's you being paranoid. I mean, I feel like if you move with specific groups of people, you you see it. I mean, I've never I've never experienced racism and I've been all throughout this country. Not once. You've never experienced racism ever. No. I've That's insane been- to me. Hey, Nothing. how's it going? What's up? Hello. So I think that there's a very fine line in between racist slash racism and prejudice. Mm-hmm. Because, um, white people cannot experience racism. It's backed by a group of power that... Not is- sure. No, no. So White not, people have no power. You're not going to say that in front of me. If I, you say that, I'm going to take it as disrespect. I'm going to take it as disrespect. I'm telling you. If you say White say people that. are if superior or have any power, okay. we're going to have an issue real quick. And I can't finish. You're cutting me off. No, but the, I'm telling you, watch your words. going to get upset about something I say? I mean, it's a debate topic. If you can't All right, I'm telling you what not to say in front of me. So there's rules in a debate? So are you talking about... No, nah, ain't no rules. I'm just gonna go off on you if you do. Like, you don't say white. Don't as a white person, you better not say you have superior or you're you're privileged or I any of that stuff in front of me because I don't believe that. that. I did, I'm just I'm letting you know. I'm just letting definition. you know. So continue, you're, continue. You're go letting ahead. me know on a topic that I had nothing to do with. You didn't even let me finish. And there's no system for you. Continue. Okay, I'm glad that you make this live what it is because I'm pretty sure the host does. Anyway. So prejudice is based off of racism, correct? Anyone can be prejudiced to someone, correct? No. No? No. Anyone no. I don't... Prejudice. prejudice well, is a weird word. I just say racist. Becomes racist. Regid- racist and prejudice are not the same thing. It's the same thing. But it's- it can be. No, 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 no. Prejudice is prejudging someone based off of something you have no experience off of. Like religion. Racism is not the same thing. Correct. Yes, you can be prejudiced to someone based on their religion. I agree with you. Mm-hmm. So they are complete- two completely different things. Racism- Where does the butt come in? Uh, what? I'm sorry? Where does the butt in that come in? As in the difference between prejudice and racism? Yeah. yeah. So racism is a, is, um, I'm sorry to think about this. So, because I don't want to upset your, your guest here. He's racism nice. is a. I'm not the guest, I'm the co-host. Uh, you're a guest on the same panel as I am. He's but, just, but, I mean, I preach that there's racism, Dilly, but then at the same time, you're disrespecting someone that's part of the BIPOC community. So, like, I just don't get that part. I'm just going to say that. I'm not disrespecting anyone. I'm just, so, I'm just literally reading a definition. It's based on someone that's a marginalized community or a minority. Do you know? So, so by saying, by saying, if someone's, if a black person says, if a black per, or if a white person says something or a black person says something against a white person, they're not being racist. They're being prejudiced. If it's based off race, it's racist. Please look up the definition. If it's based off, it's so can prejudice though. But it has to be based off a minority or a marginalized community. No, and white people are not a minority. A a marginalized do you know what marginalized means? Look up the definition of what marginalized means. Look up the definition of a, a minority. I am a minority. Are white people a minority? I'm a minority. My are, skin I'm a, excuse me. Are white people a minority? Are you looking at me? I'm are a minority. Do you are see Are you white? Color? Or are because you have Latino in you. Are you a white anybody person? Anybody that looks at phenotype, yes. According. Okay, so I'm a white person and I don't believe that I'm a minority. What does marginalized mean? It's a group of people that have something against them. 
that is treated as insignificant. So you don't think white people can be treated as insignificant? I believe they can be prejudiced. I don't believe that they can be used against I, racism. Listen, when you come into a panel, you're going to have to use proper terminology. All you have to do is look at your comments and see everyone agreeing with you. I don't care about Nobody's them. agreeing with you. I've been right, reading right, them. Right, right, right. So Nobody's you, agreeing with you. Everyone in the comments are. WWW all. Wait, hold on, hold on. I, I, see you I, I, have, I, I have a better question. No, no, me not. Lalo, it's too early for that. Keep going. A lot of them. Regardless, so, you should so... change that to anyone can display prejudice behavior instead of racist because it's not. The no, same nobody thing. has you to change have... anything. You have to You're educate lady. yourself you when you like come on topics like this, especially being someone who is of lighter skin color. You cannot say that you can experience racism. It's not true. You can experience. I just, well, I just said she can, and white streets. people I'm can. I'm not talking to you. Streets. I said I just said anybody can see, experience racism. Now what? I'm not I talking to you. Percent can. But I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the host. Yo, host, can, can, can you mute him for a second? Right. So, again, everyone yeah, wait, wait, wait. agrees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you get so away. mad when you don't understand the definitions. No, Especially you when they're used against you because you're uneducated on the facts. You don't mute him, mute him, yeah. Listen, Dilly. I don't like you. I don't like what you're saying. It, it, it sounds like you're racist to me. And that's why you just got kicked off. Anyways. Let's read the let's read the term racist again together as a collective, you guys. Racist, characterized by or showing prejudice, discrimination, or antagonism against a person or people on the basis of their membership in a particular racial or ethnic group. Race can be white or black. Ethnic can be Hispanic people. It can be Indian people, typically meaning more than often, look up the term, one that has a minority, which is like Hispanics or BIPOC or marginalized. And if you look at the term marginalized, since we want to dissect everything, marginalized, treated as insignificant. There are no exclusions in any of those terms. So no matter how you debate me, you're going to lose. So you could L me all you want, but that just goes to show you're not that educated with the terms and the definitions. And I'm sorry, but that's just the truth. I wasn't about to argue about him what the definition says it is because... The, the, uh, the, that's going to go round and round in circles if you're arguing about what a definition means and what somebody thinks it means. That's a waste of time. And obviously he didn't, he didn't want to get off of that. So wait, can I ask you guys a question then? Sure. Do you believe that all the people, like all the, the groups that you just named, all experience the same um, like thing in, in, in America? Like, is, is the white experience the same as the black experience? Is, is the black experience the same as, um, like, the Mexican experience? Every experience is different because there have been so many black people that have come onto this panel and have told me completely different experiences from someone that says that they've encountered racist people. Yes, everyone's experience is different. 100%. Do you know why? Because the world is a good, big place with thousands of people in it. So I don't really mean like individually, like I don't mean like you or me or Scala. I just mean like as the groups. We no, like, but 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 there is no other way to say it. No, everyone. But, but it kind of seems like you guys are implying that it's the same across the board for everybody. When we know that that's no. factually inaccurate. Literally not what I just said. What I just okay. said. Everyone's experience is different. I mean, wait, wait, wait. No, what, 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 divergent. What would it, differ it takes somebody's a second. experience? Like, 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 what would make somebody's experience different from another? I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't think you could sit here and say that in America that that, uh, depending on your skin tone, you're going to be treated differently. Like I think that that is just a cop out in general. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I just think so, that if you have darker skin, you are going to be treated shittier in the country so. by m uh, most of the people, not all of the people, maybe. I've never but seen that. If we go back in history, let's just be real. If we go back in histories, like the 60s and the 50s, obviously the experience of being a black person, a Hispanic person, and a European white person, yes, as a collective, was completely different. We know this because of the laws that were implemented 100%. But when you're moving forward into modernization, everyone's experience is now different. 
But all those laws and stuff that you just talked about still have repercussions today. No, they don't. What laws? But, so, so Jim Crow laws, slavery, they stuff don't exist like that. anymore. Uh, they don't. But the descendants of those people were not allowed to like have things like generational wealth, credit, opportunity well, for a lot of years. When it comes to the, all right, listen, wait. So if we all stop the race at the same time, right, and we hold somebody back for five hundred years, it's unrealistic to say that in two thousand twenty-three we're all going to be at the same finish line. Plain no, it's not. It, 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 it is. It, 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 there's, plenty of, there's plenty of millionaires and billionaires of all shades and color. Now, what there is also is a bunch of lazy people who want an excuse to fail. And there's, there's still going to be those kind of people. What about sundown towns? There's still sundown there's towns. There's no such before. thing. Black, they don't exist like, anymore. They do. You can look it up. And there's also... I did um, look it up many times on this live, and nobody has, has, has been able to point me out a town <laughs> that does that. So so what about like, you know, um oh, yeah, like oh, wait, 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 do yeah. you know do, do you do you know Sundown Town? No, you don't, right? You just you just repeat I, it. I mean I could Google it and, we spent, and pull one we out. spent hours on his live looking for one. Even the people who brought it up couldn't find one. Okay. Now, Try you know, some real quick, what, listen, sir, for the two hundred and thirty people in here, Sundown Towns don't exist anymore at all. Sir, they still do exist. That's because no, they're they not don't. broadcasting. Okay, how about Selma, this, North Carolina? Ne Selma, North what? Carolina. Selma, what? Selma, North Carolina. Okay, so it, how it would I know exists. if it's a sundown town? It still exists. I'm, okay, I'm how would I know from looking at it because I'm Googling it? How would I know sir, that? Sir, can I, can I, can I just want to say something and I will let you have the floor. I'm going to be respectful to you and I'm asking. No, no, but, I'm at, but real quick, how would I know this is a sundown town? Because if you Google it, it doesn't say anything about that. Like, how would because I know? Because I live here. I live here and I know. You live there right just now? Because, just Why? because. Just because there. you don't see it doesn't mean that it doesn't. Wait, happen. wait, no, we're not talking that. We're like, so you live there right now. So what? Yes. So what happens yes. in the sundown town? So if you're not in your house at a certain time, there's people, racist people that will come for you. It's the same thing. If you look at Howard Beach, <laughs> New York you know what? Still happens when I lived in New York. So the, there's there, there's racist people who have nothing better to do. They they just stroll the streets at night, making sure that you're not outside. <laughs> So listen to me, sir. Can I can I speak first? And then I'm I'll, asking I'll you a question. Me. I'm I'll, asking you a question. Yo, bro, shut up, let her talk, speak, man. Can I speak? Yo, can I? I'm speak? asking you a question. Okay, I will answer your question as soon as I say what I have to say. How about? Is that okay? No, because I'm asking you a question first. And I answered your question three times. No, you didn't. I said so. I there's did. people. Every yes, night, are. Yes, are. patrolling yes, the streets. Are. Yes, not they are. cops, just yes, regular they are. people yes, doing what they are. Yes, they are. I don't believe you. I'm I don't. Sorry that you I mean, you don't think that there's like unhinged people, hateful can, people can, in this world? Every day, every single day. This person on this panel. And, and I'm and gonna gonna in the age of social media, can I speak? Can I speak? Can I speak? I grew up in Jacksonville. I think a lot of the problem when we talk about this, we are getting prejudice mixed up with symptomatic racism. Symptomatic racism still exists today. I want you to Google redlining. It still happens today. Nobody African cares about American that. That doesn't exist. African American and brown people are still paying more. I oh. want you to look up Ally Financial oh, of 2015, a class action suit that I was. We're in 2023. Probably that you're the I was worst. Personally involved in. And hey, Green, Wells Fargo. Um, I Personally. Hey, Brina, real quick, just okay. to uh, piggyback on what you were saying. I grew up in Jacksonville, North Carolina, and that is 100% accurate. 100%. Even outside of Camp Lejeune Marine Corps Base, I grew up in that situation where nothing really good happens after ten, uh, after 9 o'clock. Really, wait, for anybody? Does that nothing happens good outside in the dark? For anybody or for who? So let me you, you can make it in a general he, general statement, but there is a lot of racism in North Carolina. Still. On downtown, right? Mm -hmm. Like you said, why are you still living? I'm sorry. Excuse me. I, Brina, if you said, because I believe you said that you live in one right now, you mm -hmm. live. I said I lived in one. Oh, you do? No, you said you live out. in one. You're going to say live. You said live. never allowing me to speak. He just keeps cutting me off. You just said live. That's why. Now you're lying. I lived. I lived. Now we just got to the point that I was making originally. You're a liar. You just said live. County in, in North Carolina. Bro, I said you live downtown. and you confirmed yes. So now you're saying you don't live. Now you're a liar. See, this is why nobody can believe you. 
You just said you, yes. You, you think you think because look you at the comments. You just said you live there, you're and even, now you're, you're saying you don't. That's why nobody believes you. you make up your mind when you're making up a lie. Just because you speak up with somebody, don't make it not truthful. I Yo, have but you're lying now. You That's what I'm saying. That's I my whole point. You're lying I now. I have walked as an African-American woman. You have not. I, I do not care about none of that. Years. We're talking okay. about your so, lives. So, so, so let's go back to the topic. Do you think yeah. white people can, 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 can experience She said lives there now. I, know I everybody feel doing. that Caucasian Americans feel some form of prejudice. But when it comes to economic Racism. We're not talking about that. Yeah, no, she's yo. This person's so delusional. Who just brought up economics when we're talking? Nobody's talking about that. What are you talk talking? Where are you right now? What, who's the president? That you can be racist towards a white person or a white skinned person, and I say that because I'm being selfish and talking about myself. Yeah, other I, people look like me. I feel. I mean, m my mom is half white, so I understand it perfectly. Uh, my grandparent was white, so I understand. Yes, there's prejudice against all people. And all you could be racist America. towards anybody. Say it again, sir. You could be racist Can towards anybody. To the host. Can I speak to the host and you be respectful? No. And all I'm asking is for some respect. No, streets. You know, I, 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 I can't pay attention to somebody who lies. No, streets is pussy. Liar, liar, pants on That's fire. That's a beta right you there. Can, you can call me whatever you feel. You, can you just I'm admit that you lied and I'll let it go? Just, just, just admit that you lied. You oh. said you lived somewhere and now you're saying you don't live there. Can you just say you lied? I didn't lie at all. See, now you're, you're still lying, but continue. I didn't lie at all. Yeah, you did I lie. I told you that I lived in that town and my mother and father no, you said you lived in there. those towns. So think about that. Your accent is not that thick. I can clearly hear every pronunciation of your words. So you said you lived there. But anyway, moving every on. Pronunciation you lied, just continue. What did that have to do with anything? Because I heard what you said clearly. You hear every pronunciation of yo, my Brina, words? don't waste your breath, yo. So you is that what you're saying to me? Because what am I, I saying? am educated, and you hear the pronunciation of my words. I said I have heard it clearly. You said you lived there. You said it twice, and you confirmed it when I asked you. I believe I believe you're educated. So 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 then look at the term racist. Yes, and when when we are talking when we are talking term. about that in that term, right? As far as racist. Uh, but in the United States of America, all people feel a form of prejudice, right? Because when it comes to racism, you have power. No, nope. talking about wrong. Racism. I'm just, I'm, I'm telling you, you have wrong. I'm telling you the definitions of the the two words. No, it's not. And no but definition does racism have to, anything to do with power. Have That's it. not the definition. Do, do you want me to read you the definition of racism and, and, and I can show you that there's no word power in there at all? Which one you want, racism or racism? Pick one. Racism. Racism. As you were saying, ma'am. Exactly. You don't want the definition. As so what you, you want to do is make up your own definition you for a word based off of your little feelings. Continue. First of all, I don't have little feelings. Sir. Yeah, you do. They're very little. You, you, you are the one with the little feelings because that's no, it's not. Yo, you just that said that racism has to do with power. I'm telling you, the definition doesn't say that. I'm telling you, if you want me to read you the definition, and you're not saying yes or no because so you know your mind. So when you read the definition, it doesn't say prejudice. Is that not part of the definition? Did you that's say prejudice or power? Yes, yes. That's, a, that's a part of it. Am I not saying that? No, power that's has nothing exactly to do with prejudice at all. That's exactly what I said. You said power. I'm willing to listen. You, you said power. Your self talk because you want to follow just your ideology. What'd you say? She meant ideology. Oh, okay. <laughs> there is definitely. Wait, say that word again. I thought it was a dig. I could be wrong. What the hell did she do? What was that word again? Say it one more time. I was speaking to the lady. I'm, I'm just asking you to say, oh, wait, don't say the word. All right, continue. Okay. I think you have a lot of maturity to go. Because if you're not allowing someone to say how... We're having a discussion. I'm not going to let you sit there and yes. speak for 10 minutes without interrupting if I hear something I don't, don't agree with. 
I'm letting you talk, but every time I hear but something I don't agree with, I'm gonna let you you're know. You're not letting me talk. You're not yes, letting me say anything. No, you're not. You're being very disrespectful. And I no, man. All right, continue. Go. We're having a debate. A debate is not you interrupting because you don't like something at that moment. You give that person an opportunity to speak, and then when they are done, you say what you need to say. Uh, That's how it's done. No, but continue. And now you're waking up that space. Thank you so much, host, for allowing me on your platform. I think you really need to um, address the issue of how a debate is performed and how people are able to speak their minds without being interrupted. Once someone has the floor, no one should speak. And give that same courtesy to the next person. You Thank you, and you have a wonderful day. See, you wasted all that time just not to say Thank nothing. you, Brina. Appreciate your time. Love the night. <laughs> no, somebody said street is the host. <laughs> We're both the host. That's the funny part. See, the, see, you have to read the room when you come in somewhere, but some people don't do that. But okay, it's all good. It's the ideology. I, ide, ide, ideology? I don't know. Whatever. All right. Ideology. No, I was trying to say it how she said it. I just I couldn't believe it. Ideology. Just. He said ideology or something like that. I'm gonna so add streets. Uh, well, do you have any questions for me? Since you're also the host. No, it's just the board. Read it. You gonna if you could agree or disagree. <laughs> she thanks street. I know she thanked me right before she left. <laughs> Lord have um, mercy. I, yeah. I, no, 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 what is the second one? Racists can thrive without racists. However, racists... Damn, man, I can't read the back. I always forget this, and I'm here every day. All right, well, 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 what's the second point that you don't... Or you could have uh, argue? I mean, I can read it. Um, racism cannot thrive without racists. However, racists... Um, is it can or can't thrive without racism? I mean, yeah, I, I think that's what it is. It's kind of word salad, but uh, uh, it yeah. is a little. Yeah, bit. I mean, like I, I can't just disagree with with what I don't understand, but what I understand is, you know, growing up in this country from the age of four, being born, being born in Puerto Rico, learning English as a second language, um, definitely has have uh, experienced a lot of racism in my early years to adolescence, but once I, I became an adult. It kind of like uh, I didn't allow it to affect me, so I sought and lived beyond the racial, the racial disparities in the construct. Okay, but so you know, mind don't you, over matter. It still, you it think still you, exists. You think your experience uh, with racism? You, you, do you think somebody who never experienced racism, you think they're wrong because of the way they view the world, or they're just viewing it different? The only correct answer would be that they're only viewing it subjectively different based on their own experience. Same thing with you, right? Because you went to racism and they didn't. I mean, were you born in Puerto Rico and raised in New York and had to learn English as a second language? Did you experience no. that? No. Did you experience being pulled out of class every day for an ESL course because they wanted to identify if you were slow just because you spoke a different language? Did you, did you experience that yourself? No, I was in like regular classes. So you can show empathy or apathy and kind of understand where I'm coming from and, you know, empathize with me. But no, you don't know what I went through. Just to, just like I don't know what you went through. But as as you, as a species, keeping open minded temperament can have a advantageous outcome, even if you don't experience what someone else experiences, sharing our experience, experiences and educating the next generation is what we're, we're all here supposed to do so if we didn't have different experiences what kind of experience can be created of critical thought for the future mm -hmm. but all right do you think anybody could be racist i think any individual can choose to be, be racist and or are a product of an environment that was innately racist Yes, anyone. So you believe in individual racism? I, I, I believe in individual accountability. 
Wait, so are you answering yes or no? Because you're not, you're I not answering. Individual accountability. If that can be, be kept in congruency with your statement, then sure. Hmm. Yeah, anybody can have racist views. Anybody can be prejudiced towards somebody else because of their race. How about this, Street? So two questions for me, one for you. Do you believe that um, insulting someone's intelligence is a form of prejudice or racism? based on the Nothing. culture and dialect and um, idioms of said culture that one could be from. Depends Nothing. on how they I don't think of any you. Wait, 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 wait. You, you, okay, you said... See, now someone you said two insulting different things. someone's intelligence can be viewed as similar to being racist. No. No. But you said based off of culture. Well, what, what do you mean by that? Like, for example, I, I, I first lived in New York but I okay. finished high school in North Carolina. So I was, I was in New York and then North Carolina. Like Brina was saying earlier, in North Carolina, it's definitely a, what's called a Bible Belt, right? Now, in, in these certain communities where the Marine Corps base is, Camp Lejeune, it's more like, you know, suburban. So it's more open, like a melting pot. Because in a military installation, you have people from all different creeds, races, ethnicities, and, and backgrounds all you know, um, commuting and working together in one base for training, et cetera. But when you get down to living there outside of base, living with the re residents of Jacksonville, North Carolina, Wilmington, like she said, Salem, um, you do see it. You do mm -hmm. see the Confederate flags being flaw not flown because of pride alone. Uh, it's a bit of a provocative kind of uh, gesture um in, in this social construct a, a lot of people just ignore it and let them do them i can't man. say that i've i've seen with my own eyes any kind of l y n c h n per se but i've definitely seen people get jumped assaulted um s aid um and like you did earlier tabrina look at as less intellectual individuals based on their belief system or how they were raised you didn't even i didn't no 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 i didn't look at her as less intellectual I, I i just didn't agree with what she was saying at all no no, no she no, was no. trying to rewrite you, the definition of word. someone because of, of their cognitive process you see i have a asd i play chess for a living you feel me so you can't do that I, to me no i didn't less, she was making you know, up a definition to a word me, and she wasn't she using was the correct about, definition right? that's what i was talking about I know. I just want you to know that I'm not racist when I call you a dumbass. I, why would I take that as all racist? That, I'm just all saying. That. Can you just say no, that? No, I, I can tell you yeah, not what you American have because anarchy earlier, I don't know where you, thought, you just you went with all this Confederate um, flag thing and everything. Giving her that was a whole to, story to that platform, nobody asked And I pretty much. I, I don't know if you know if, if anybody asked you for it. Did you see American anarchy, how he keeps talking when a guest is speaking? I'm not here. Guess you know, speaking what? So nobody. you think because you know somebody has the wrong definition of a word, you think I, I'm questioning how smart they are? No, I just think she's making up her own definition for a word, which is what a lot of people you do. Called someone a liar based on their synopsis. Oh yeah, so she lied. She said she lived somewhere, and then answer. she, and then after she was asked again, she was, she said that she lived there. When I asked her twice if she lived there, she said, "If yes. I didn't live in Salem or Wilmington, living in Jacksonville, not having congruency with similarities, yeah, no. Why do you I keep relate. talking about yourself when nobody's asking you anything about because your life? I don't Reese care where North you live. Carolina, like, what are you doing? And I'm from North Carolina because like, I you know, it's like you want to write your own book, but you don't have an audience. Yo, stop talking about yourself. You're my audience, you, you, but you I'm here for you. You keep giving these side stories about yourself that nobody's asking." Talk Did about what we're talking American about. American Anarchy. I don't care Me what's your favorite dessert or what's Carolina. your favorite snack. Like, talk about something else, man. We're, we're, yeah, we're, we're talking about, about, about yeah, was, I said that she said she lived interview. somewhere. And then but, I asked her again and she confirmed but, 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 it. And then later on, she said she lived there. That was my point. Look, bro, yeah. I Where understand that, you know, tinnitus and hearing loss is a, a huge epidemic in our country and, you know, much more awareness. What the hell are you talking about? like, what are you guys to what right is, here so, what are you talking open. about? Hold on. So Gio's answer for this was that anybody <laughs> what the correct? <laughs> that his answer because I was gone. No wonder they took you out of class, man. What are you talking about? Was that this guy's just so random? <laughs> he just he told me three different things about his life that nobody asked for. Was that his answer? 
I don't know what his well, answer is. I think, he, see, I think he's about to tell us one time he went to the Mr. carnival Carlos. when he was five I guarantee you, next. American Anarchy can articulate what my answer was. But Streets Kala TV, the character, the persona, the tetrahedron colliding that is Street Scala, he's not a real thing. So go ahead and tell her what my answer was. I guarantee you are not perspicacious enough to relay it back to her. But I can answer the question again. I don't know what the hell's answer was. Exactly. I mean, you talk point. pretty fast, Streets. I, I talk pretty slow and shit. You know, I just try yeah. to... <laughs> you must be East Coast. You guys East Coast? I'm from Florida, baby. No, I'm shit. a Florida jit. I would love what about to street or street, street where are you from? What side of the country are you from? East Coast. This. You're East Coast, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I noticed that. I noticed that. You guys should slow down a little bit and let other people talk, man. Okay. I don't know. I just wanted to make an example of of a bully. Oh, bully and shit. I hate bullies. But yes, anyone can be racist. Um, but we couldn't read the second okay. part because it was being blocked, host. Okay. So what Thank I meant you. with the second part was racism cannot thrive without racist. So in order for a majority of the people in government to push out policies such as segregation and Jim Crow, like obviously Jim Crow or slavery and things of that nature, they have to be racist. You have to have racist people behind the system. Okay. However, which is why I use the word however, even without a system like that, you can still be a racist on an individual level towards anybody because there are no exclusions within the definition. You can look as hard as you want, but it's just a behavior and a thought process. Sure, you could be prejudiced based on someone's traditions, based right. on their culture, based on right. whatever else you want, the color of their hair. But if mm. it's in turn becomes about their race and this is why it's written like that that in the term racist if it then becomes a prejudice towards their race it becomes racist mm. that's i mean i could i don't know if the the way i'm writing it is kind no, of no I, I had it figured out but then you then you quantified it and now i'm lost <laughs> like you answered it, it yourself and i kind of i kind of agree can I ask you this, host? Um, let's say in the next 10 years, 15, mm -hmm. max, there's going to be a generational shift in office. Can we all agree with that? American uh, anarchy, street, like all the old folk are going to move on I don't to, the, know to the upper room, right? So with this new generation of politics, right, do you feel that with what you just said, um, racism does exist internally, even though people don't speak outright about it, certain things in place can make it to be so. And just because someone has a black friend or, you know, Hispanic second cousin or brother-in-law's best friend who was, you know, from Africa or whatever variable you want to apply, just because you can relate doesn't mean you can equate to the experience. And it's kind of like when someone says, oh, I don't see color. I'm not racist. Well, I'm Puerto Rican, right? But I'm also a Thainu Indian. Nobody walks right? around wanting Straight. to have somebody else's Stop experience. Stop talking, bro. Nobody Stop. does that. Who Stop. the hell walks Streets, around listen. being like, yo, I Please wish I had somebody it. else's experience. Please Everybody don't make it experiences awesome, what they right? experience. No Just listen to the words I'm saying. I heard Please. what you said. It doesn't make any sense. Okay. Respond to me with precise articulation. What about what I said? In the percentile. Do not Once agree Once again, with. nobody walks around trying to get somebody else's experience on their life because everybody's going to have their own experience. Well, when Why do you think that people walk around thinking that to the point where like they, 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 of course they, you your think that they would get that? Of course, you care about, right? Well, when people care about their neighbors, you know, not directly, but indirectly, we care about the next generation, i.e., we got kids, right? So I care about the planet because my son has to live in it. So yes, unfortunately, I know it's it's foreign. You to care yourself, about the planet good or the people exist. In good citizens exist. You know what I'm saying? So if you want to, you know, chill at home and be on TikTok and look good and cock it to the left and right side and shave your little pinstripe, hey, that's you. Be you. Be great. But don't question someone's prerogative when they care about the exterior reality more than their own. It's called self sacrifice. Try it sometime. The exterior of what? What do you love is defined by 
by an external force. Is it not? No. Okay. I'm done. Hey. I know the you're real, done. Uh, Osaka, Scratch your head one more time. Handle my light work, yo. Uh, I'm going to just chill in 420 over here. <laughs> love, man. I like you brought it to love, though. Let's talk about that, man. Let's talk about love. Anybody got anything to say about love? Talk about can anybody display racist behavior? Yo, Lady Grim, the, the, the whole explanation did. you had towards this guy, this guy really didn't understand it. And you saw it by the look in his face. And it's nice <laughs> that, he, that, that, that he actually admitted he didn't understand it and kept it moving. But that was pretty funny. I'm not even going to lie. I don't think he I, he said that he, he was in um those special classes. I don't think he he could comprehend when somebody else was talking to him. I think while somebody was talking to him, he was already making up in his head what he was about to say next. That's why he wasn't really listening to anybody. That's just me. Hmm. No, I don't know. I, I just think just for me watching the exchange. Uh, can y'all hear me? Yes. Mm -hmm. I just you know just from me watching the exchange, it just seems like you know I don't. I don't hold any ill will towards the brother. It, it seems like he maybe he has the best intentions. It just seems like maybe he might be misinformed on a few things, but I think he's entitled to his beliefs, you know. Even though, the, you know, maybe there's a disagreement there. But, but of course... Wait, what, you what are you talking about? The brother hey, who just, just, here, here. Oh, okay. just left. Yeah. Yeah, so... But no, no, of course, anybody could be racist, of course. I don't disagree with that. You, know, you, you say it as if it seems that's like really, it could be so obvious, but uh, you it talk to a lot of people out there, and they don't they don't believe that that black people can be racist or that the minority can be racist, the oppressed can be racist. What you done? Because because they they the reason why they believe that is because they have a different view of uh of racism and racist of what those things actually mean. To them, the two are almost interchangeable in a way. So to them, they believe that since they are not in the power position, they believe that white people as a whole are uh, in the dominant society and engage in white supremacy. And so therefore, since white people are of the majority and that they're the ones that benefit, they're in the belief that they have the power to be racist since they're in the position of power and that anyone else who is not white cannot be racist towards them because they're looking at racism and then not being a racist so your racist is different from racism because racism it does have things to do with beliefs and uh systems whereas racist is an individual uh, anybody could be racist against anyone at any time i think most so why do they call it that. systemic racism then why do they need to add so, if that's how they think if that's what they think racism is why do they add systemic to it well because well it's because of of their worldview so their worldview a lot of a lot of people, even me at one point in time, you know, people look at systemic racism as this idea that white people are the majority and that they're part of the dominant society and therefore they have all the privilege and benefit. And they've used those privileges and benefits in order to uh, take power through white supremacy and use that power via government uh, to suppress and go against other groups. Whether it be medical, the uh, medical racism, maybe redlining, banking, you know, rights in general. That's just that's how most people look at systemic racism. They look at it from. Yeah, I think they're boxing it up too much. They're making it too small. They're not seeing racism for what it really is. They're looking at one aspect of it. And it's probably because it hits them personally. So they just look at that aspect. Just like the Irish, they're going to really be concentrated on how their people were oppressed. You know, it, it, and it really people got to start looking at racism for how the word actually means when anybody looks at somebody else and sees them as a different race and then discriminates against them in some fashion, hates on them, doesn't give them a job, gives them a job, beats them up. But but here's the here's the deal though. Like honestly, we we know how this country was founded, right? So the thing of it is, is that yes, there are. If you study America, then yes, there's obviously racist roots, one hundred percent. You know what I mean? Because of course, slavery was very prevalent. Uh, segregation, Jim Crow, the whole nine. Yeah. So, you know, um, to say that that wasn't the case, obviously, that's 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 insane. That's insanity. Obviously, that was a part of uh, America's history at one particular time. That's true. And also, even today, I would, I would also argue that racism is not uh, completely 
disappear thing. Of course, you still have racist idiots, and you're always going to have racist idiots, and you're always going to have prejudice. That's that's also true too. So it's not necessarily gone, however. But I would say in today's time, racism is not necessarily a a barrier for a person of color's individual success and achievement. Um, so I think we need to start there. But of course, you know, um, as I've stated before, you know, people you um, mean the form system? a worldview. Oh, go ahead. Would you, you think we should change the system before we change men's hearts? No. See, well, here's the deal. The thing is, is that people think what they think because uh, they're programmed to think what they think. In other words, if you turn on the television and all you're seeing is racism, this, racism, this, racism, this, racism, this, racism, this, racism, an issue, and you see that over and over and over in the media, then ultimately you're going to think it's a problem. Uh, but like I said, I'm not saying that it's not necessarily a problem that it's gone. But I think the bigger issue really is it classes the issue. It's it's basically the people who have wealth versus the people who don't. The people who have wealth uh, uh, and who control society are are typically one percent. Uh, they control really ninety nine percent of the world's wealth, right? Most of the people in, in America, black, Hispanic, white, most people are broke. Most people don't have five hundred dollars in the savings account. You see what I'm saying? So. Most people, because of that, struggle. So really, the bigger issue is, is classism. That's kind of, that's really the, the main issue here. So That's what I believe, too, actually. Yeah, at least uh, in America, we have the things. biggest uh, diversity of poverty. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. And, and when then, people then, talk then, about then, the jail system, this system, that, it all has to do with money. Unfortunately... A lot of minorities don't have money. That's why they get the shitty end of the stick in front of the justice system. We're not talking about people who go with like private attorneys and end up getting 40 years for weed. It's people who freaking go there with public defenders who don't have any money, get the whole book thrown at them. They have to plea out. That's why so many minorities are in prison. And it had nothing to do with skin color. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that's what it is. But then, like I said, people think that it is race. Now, are there disparities? Yes, 100% there are. Now, I, I've made this argument before. Just because there are disparities among groups, it doesn't always mean that it's racially related. Does that make, does that make sense? So, yeah, you know, that's, that's, that's kind of that's the issue here. We have historical generational income inequality, uh, a lot based on so many different demographics, uh, race, ethnicity, and such. Um, anybody that understands wealth knows that it is also generational. And a lot of these people think that they see the income inequality in our past and think we can fix it in our generation but you cannot do it by making yourself rich you can only do it by making your kids rich and their kids rich you have to pass yeah, and then, mm -hmm. go mm -hmm. ahead no no i was gonna say no no i was gonna add to what you were saying what i was gonna say was um every single equality that is, that's out there is solely due to racism only and i'm saying mm -hmm. that's not necessarily that's not necessarily accurate in the case because like i said statistically speaking the average American, whether it be white, black, or Hispanic, doesn't even have five hundred dollars in their savings account, and they're one step away uh, from being, from really being homeless. That's what it is. And then if you look at white people, this whole idea, there's an idea that every single white person in this country benefited from racism somehow. I said, mm, I said no. I said that's not necessarily the case. Now, did you have some white people that benefit from racism? I said, yeah, you did. But what percentage is that of the total overall white population? You're talking about like two percent. Right. You talk about two percent of the white population. Then again, you have some white people that are from Disagree. Italy, some are from Spain, some are from Hungary, some are from Czechoslovakia, yeah. some are from Croatia, some are from the UK. So are you going to all say that they somehow benefited from systematic racism? Huh? Yes. Yeah, I, would, I, would I would say that I would say 100 percent of America's population, 100 percent of the American population has benefited from our historical racism. Wait, who? Okay, so all who, of us have benefited from racism of the past. Really? And no matter what your skin is, you, that TV, that 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 thing that you holding okay, to look was based off of slaves making it in the history. Wait, what? Okay, so, what? Wait we, a minute. What the thing we're looking into? What are you talking about? Okay, if you got a, if you're using a phone, anybody of any privilege in America. 
Okay, you got to know that it was built off the backs of slaves in the past. Thank Everybody you. isn't like just because you're black that you don't have the benefit of the people in the history being enslaved. What is he looking at exactly? I don't know. Wait, wait, wait. I'm so confused. I, I don't I'm think the phone right has now. to do anything to do with slaves, but. I'm everybody to, I'm in bro, America, okay, any benefit that there's, we still right have of slavery, slavery? Come on, man, y'all. Like, like any kind of income inequality. Do we? Do you believe that slavery, the consequences of slavery, still resonate today to any yes. level? Yes. Yeah, okay, and so I see let me, it yes. Sort of. I see yes. it too. But let let, let me sort clarify of? that. Yes. Sort of tell, tell me, give me an aspect of, of, of life that has not been affected by slavery. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, like I said, I'm not denying. I even said it earlier. I don't know how long and you've the been benefits, here. Yeah, that, the benefits still resonate today. But you wouldn't have who, what we had but today. Damage, the damage but with who, though? Today. That's yeah. what I'm trying to tell you. Everybody. America. Nah, G, you tripping, G. No. How? Explain to me how he's tripping. We all benefit from slavery. That's what the brother just said. I'm confused. He, he say, okay, the country was founded on what? What was the country founded on? You can talk about religious freedom, yada, yada, yada. I'm talking about economically. What was the country founded on? You already know it the It was founded on stealing the land from the natives. That's what it was founded that's on. That's how the land was acquired. That's another thing. Okay, yeah, and that's that what it was founded all... on, okay. stealing it. it the, the, but the, 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 we were able to build wealth in this nation based on what? Oh, we now labor. you want to skip. Oh, so you want, you, you want to do, you want to skip minute. around? Uh, you call, yeah, I, I guess, guess you're right. Right. Privilege. Privilege. So that's the more accurate basis. word, is privilege. It's American privilege. Is the difference between prejudice and racism. Say that again. You you could be okay. okay I'm going off, back yeah. to your question. All right, I'm I'm, I'm gonna read your question. You talking about can anybody be a racist? What yes. what's the difference between being racist and being prejudiced? Anybody can be prejudiced. I'll give I you can that. tell you the difference. Okay, I can tell you that. All right, oh, wait, hold on, wait, wait. Lady Grim, Lady Grim, Lady Grim. But just because you're prejudiced against somebody, because you got some prejudged uh, assumptions about somebody, I'm gonna tell you what can you do with Hold up, hold up, hold up. She's gonna explain it. Wait. Okay. Based off definition. Okay, you could be prejudiced off somebody, off this pre-opinion. It could be based off their traditions. It could be based off their religion. Shit, it could be based off their hair color. But once it becomes a race thing, you are now prejudiced against them based off their race. It becomes racist. Okay. That's why the word prejudice right. is put we, in. We, we, we want to go with the kindergarten of definition. All right. If we, so, so, so let's so let's race. let's expand on that. Let's expand on that. So, so now, expand according to your definition, what expand on that by expand, expand you mean make up your own shit that's not in the dictionary? Is that what you mean by expand? Reality, bro, it's the reality. Yeah. Okay, what so that you make up your own shit and, and throw it in the definition? Y'all don't like the word racism. Let's find the word that 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 defines what's going on today. When when a group of people can be denied education, when a group of people can be denied housing, denied education. Based Regardless on their race, what do you call it? What do you call it? Poor people are denied life. education. A, a white skin person. Why, yep. why are they poor? Because you're lazy. Like any number of reasons lazy. why wow. there's poverty, man. <laughs> there you go. Okay, wait a minute. I you wish, see how simple that was? was? It was so I simple. I, so you tell I me, got all the answers. Me, Keep you're going. Telling me, you're telling me that, that, uh, that just for example, Hispanic people that bust their ass doing landscaping, Making whatever minimum dollars, you gonna tell me that that, that they're lazy and that's why they're poor? Mm, exactly. We gotta do more. Oh, gotta God. hustle harder than that. <laughs> okay, you be it's not about right being lazy. Some people are just was, not that ambitious. That that they're not motivated. Right you just gotta motivate them so that they can go and find their true. Uh, wait, can I say something? Wait a minute. No, 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 no. no, no. So, so the, the kid, the kid that's stuck in the ghetto and can't get out because their schools are shit and they don't have an opportunity to get scholarships. I'm gonna pause you. I've seen many Hispanic people that do landscaping that make over a hundred thousand dollars a year. They bust their ass and they make money. Not everybody's gonna have the same thing going for them because it is all about the hustle game. But I've seen it and now I can unmute you. I just wanted to say that. That's a stigma on Hispanics. Again, yeah. I, I said if it was a poor example, forgive me. I'm, that's the first thing that popped in my mind when I think of somebody who's hardworking. For me, landscapers are some hardworking people, but they, 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 I don't think they're considered rich. By any degree, maybe some are. I don't know. I don't know them. I know. I, I just know a lot of hardworking people who aren't lazy, but they're not rich. Okay. So, so I'm just shooting a hole in the lazy in the lazy theology or, or concept. 
But what mm -hmm. I'm saying is there are systems in place that have kept, held back a group of people from gaining wealth. That is about false. Being rich because false, 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 false. What, the, what what system is in place to hold anybody back or hold no, 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 whoever what, you're talking about back? Can, can I say something? Okay, now that's partially accurate. There were at one particular time there were systems that were keeping people of color back, but that this was we're talking about a hundred years ago now. No, we're in talking about in the sixties. We're talking about in the sixties. All right, we're in twenty twenty three though. We're in twenty twenty. Listen, sir. Listen, listen. Hold up. <laughs> we're in twenty twenty three. We're in twenty twenty three right now. Right. Okay? okay. I'm in real estate. I'm in real estate currently. Before okay. I worked in real estate, I worked in IT for the mm -hmm. federal government with high credit scores. And they come, they come in and they leave 30,000, 50,000, 100,000 loans easily. Look, here's the deal. This, the, the, I, this, the whole thing is, is that this system works on capitalism. It works on profit motive. It works on money. Banks, it really does them no good to discriminate. Do you know why? It does them no good to see a, a white person with a 500 credit score and uh, versus a, a foreigner or an African or a black person with a 750 credit score and not give the 700 uh, credit score person a loan. They're going to give it to them every time. Do you know why? Because they're saying, okay, how can I make money? How can I get my money back? Because banks make money. They're in it for profit. They make money, they make money by what? The mortgage products. They make money by the NSF fees, monthly maintenance fees, 30-year uh, mortgages, mm -hmm. and every single other product. Their whole pro uh, motive is to make money. How are they going to make money? They're not trying they're to hold ready. anybody back from doing it. Trust me. I have even gotten right too. To green. <laughs> so yeah, so, their so, okay. thing is they're I, looking I, I at. Follow, I follow what you're saying. I understand how banks. Yeah, are. they're looking at the green. What, That's what it. I'd like what I'd like you to provide information on is 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 some kind of percentage of people with low credit scores. Break that down demographically. Break that down racially. Demographically, look. Here's the deal. If your ass has a low credit score, then guess what? Your ass is getting a loan. Period. The reason why we, people I have low credit scores. I'm, I'm trying to because, ask you okay. why, why, why disproportionately do, do people, the minorities, people of color, have lower credit scores? I'm going to tell you why. You know the reason why people have low credit scores in That's general? That's I'm asking, bro. I'm a, I'm, the reason is for lack of knowledge. The same reason I okay, had a low why, ass credit score until, of, until I figured. Why do we until, have hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The same reason I had a low credit score until I figured the game out. That's why I say <laughs> knowledge is power. Once you figure out how this system works, it becomes really easy to make money. My credit score was 480. Now, currently, it's 765. Okay. Right now, Kudos to you. Because I, I learned how the system off, works. But you, you're kind of going off tangent here. I'm, I'm trying to get to the to the, to the the root of... Now, you asked the why question. Can, you said, why, 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 why do we have low credit scores? He answered it. Story. How's it going off? I because told you, he's, there's he's nothing. Look, about his, his personal success story, which kudos to him. I'm saying, why, why can't more black, black and brown people tell your story? I would, I would be amazing. More, that's more, a more white people could tell that. This story. is why. This is why, bro. I'm gonna ask you the question. This okay. is why, because of knowledge. They don't know any better. They don't know they don't that if they do. If they get a credit card and you, you pay it off for one year, I, and you I, pay, you get. No, hold on. Let me, let me finish. I, people I, I, don't I, know. Are you? Let, hold on. People don't know that if you take. 200 bucks, you go to a bank and say you want a secure credit card and you pay it off for uh, for one year, your credit score will go up at least 200 points. People don't even know that. You, you understand that? I That's understand all it that. is. I agree with you. I'm asking you, why don't they know that? Why well, don't I know that? Because seek and ye shall find. Seek That's how? it. Amen how, to how? That. How do they Seek speak? and ye shall... Listen, brother, you, we have the internet. You have a yeah. phone right now. <laughs> so you're telling you, me, you're telling me that these people who don't already have money because they got low credit scores, they just going to go out where? To, to the libraries that are getting shut down in their communities and get on the internet? Wait a minute. So you don't have a cell phone? Is that what you're telling me? I have a cell phone. I got I got all the stuff you're talking about. I got Man, they got Obama about, phones. I'm Everybody got access to a phone now. Yo, I have bro, a free Obama phone, and I got two lines that you know I paid for. Also, I got this also, shit just because it's free. You also have enough following on your TikTok to create your own lives where you could educate the youth on what he was just telling you. Great yep. point. You go, you Great go to point. any bank. But you see, go to any is, bank, I, get a secure I don't, credit I don't card. Have like he got. I'm, I'm learning. I'm learning about this just like, like what he's telling me. So I will do. I will take you up exactly on your suggestion. But I'm trying to get to the root of this because every everywhere that you're talking about, there's an obstacle that to me is in place because of racism. Ah. Racism, with racism. This is my life to be the easy. The previous young lady talked about is is prejudice plus power. If you have uh -huh. if you're prejudiced against somebody and you have the the ability to influence something in their lives, to hold them back to oppressing, to me, that's racism. 
because that's, that's, your guys' definition is well, that's well, one form of racism, but that's not that, that doesn't encapsulate all racism. Yeah, the stomach. I hear what the brother's saying. Like I said, there were barriers at one particular time in history. I, I'm not going to disagree with that. But what about now, 2023? Now you have still... things like now you have things like a uh, 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 chat chat GPT where you can literally ask it anything. You could ask it, okay, how do I make a million bucks off of maybe two thousand dollars or something? And guess what? It'll tell your ass. That's how it's right. crazy. But then like you the game, two thousand dollars, <laughs> or you can even enter five hundred bucks. You can't get two thousand. Everybody yeah. get, about to get their tax return. What wait, you mean? Hold on, hold on. Yo, you wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. The real question is. Can you ask that app how to make a million dollars out of five dollars? Oh, you can ask it anything you want. It'll I'm gonna go ask you. that shit right now. Uh huh. Hell yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> no, and, and, and to me, that's the, the real question. I'm, the people I'm talking about, they gotta decide: Do I buy a dozen eggs, or do I try to gamble and make a million dollars? Yeah, I mean, like now, like I said, the, the go rob a chicken. Go rob listen, a chicken, listen, listen. and then you got eggs for life. That's it. You well, got to think see, smart. They, 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 go, they go steal a chicken, they go end up in the no. system. No, they don't. <laughs> Who's going to know the chicken's in your kitchen? I know people who are getting jail time over DUI, whereas you got privileged white folks that get away with murder, rape, blah, blah, blah. You know, and they cool. So, so the, watch this. Here's well, the deal. The the deal <laughs> but let me tell you something right now. You know, why, you know why, what? Why does, why does cocaine have a lesser... Sentenced crack. Racist. Okay, I'm about to I'm about to drop a jewel on y'all. Uh, hold on, I want y'all to pay attention. Everyone in this chat room, I need y'all to pay attention. Do you know what killed systemic racism? Do you know what killed it? Do you know? I didn't know. It was I'm gonna give you the answer. Racism. Yes, because racism Jesus. is dead. Do you you want you want to know racism what really kills systemic okay. racism? Y'all ain't tell me what? Kanye West was on the call. Oh no no, listen. <laughs> what killed it is technology. Technology and the internet is what killed it. Because it's, now it's, it's giving it an even playing field. I will give you. Yeah, because now you can no longer. Oh, yeah, you get rid of some of that. You can, listen, you can no longer hold you somebody back. Now you can't. Yeah, you can't hold anybody back no more because of that. Do you I, know I that? I disagree with that. I, I like where you're going, but I, I disagree with that. Oh, hell no. You can't. You can't hold somebody back now because of the Internet. If you want to open a business, what's going to stop you? The thing of it is, people think you need a whole bunch of money to do that. Nigga, no, you don't. No, you don't. I think when uh, no. humans become uh, go extinct, racism huh? will be gone. <laughs> yeah, it's like in other words, there's more opportunity works, now right? than there ever has been in recorded history. Period. Exactly. Yo, there's you, you, you could get minute, paid for just I'm, talking I'm shit say, online. What was it? You said? That there's no excuse. There's no excuse for nobody not to do anything anymore. If you're smart enough, you'll figure out a way. Not everything is meant to be handed to you. Now, you're not supposed to have some golden road to success and shit sitting there like, why is me working at fucking IHOP not enough? Like, figure it out. Everybody, in the, there's nothing, there's nothing a white person society. can do that, that any minority can't do in America. That time is dead and over. Yeah, that stuff is over with now. I don't know if I can mad over with now. Huh? I, I I think y'all are halfway there, but y'all still there's there's still roadblocks that are put in place. The uh, the young lady was talking about redlining and stuff like that. Those kind of things, those insidious Listen, types okay. of things, are still in place, and they'll and, and they'll, they're in place to hold people back to hold keep. So, hold on, let me power, let me let me tell power. you something. Re Listen, and, redlining and that's not that's not true. Where they stay in power, just like this. Hold with on, abortion. Huh? I don't I don't know. Let I'm me see. Trying to go off topic on, on abortion, but. Abortion, these, these people are trying to make abortions illegal. Why? Because they know white folks, people of power, are becoming a minority. And somebody else, uh -oh. my man was talking about when the generation dies off. and yeah, That's why they, do, they don't want people aborting these kids. Because they want to keep that generation going, keep that mindset going, keep that belief going. That's not that's true. That's going to separate the upper class from the lower class. In other words, the rich white folks from poor people of color. So let me tell you something about the redlining. Because I'm in real estate now, okay? So, you know, real is, uh, redlining is illegal. You know that, don't you? Yeah, uh -huh. but it still happens. No, it don't. Let, so let me tell you something. Okay, so let me tell you something. Oh, no. So this is my field, right? Redlining is the practice where insurance companies uh, and banks deny someone based off of race and or a ge based on a geographical location. Now, I work in real estate, right? Hmm. So right now, Shoot. as long as an individual has good credit, a person can get a mortgage easy. As a matter of fact,
They want you to get into a house. If you you could work at McDonald's, hmm? and more than likely yeah. you're gonna get approved for a mortgage, because why? Yeah, they know that you have a man. stable job, and then you'll be able to pay a mortgage for 20, 30 years because they know that they'll make money off of you. It's based well, off. You of work capitalism. at McDonald's for forty well, bucks an hour. Or you work me, at McDonald's if they paid you forty bucks give. an hour. I'd be like all over that shit. Forgive me. No, maybe I'm, I'm saying, saying what I'm saying is gerrymandering. Maybe, maybe redline was the wrong term. Maybe gerrymandering is the word. I'm, I'm gerrymandering about the political, the political grouping of, of people. So so you know, voting results would turn out the way that these politicians want them to turn out. You know, maybe maybe maybe, maybe that's the term I'm, I'm supposed to be using. Not redlining. I, I don't know. That, that's I, I'll probably look into that. I don't know about gerrymandering, but I'm saying as far as getting loans, as long as you have the right credit. Yo ass can get it real I, I easily, no yeah. problem. I, I agree with everything you, you can get it, no problem. If you have good credit, the question is, how do you get good credit? How do you maintain good credit? That's a challenge for the for the people that are dealing with these issues that we're talking. Well, about. you do you know why? Do you know why? Because people are not disciplined, right? They're they're not. People want to because think about it. Do you know that's how the, much really, African American is that really? The listen, only you no, listen. Let me tell you something. Do you know how much African Americans consume? How, how much they spend? How much they spent? Take a wild guess. I, I know where you're going with that. I agree. Billions. Oh no, trillions, my friend. <laughs> Almost I'll, two I'll trillion dollars. That. I'll agree with that. Uh huh. And because think about it, not even African Americans, Americans in general, we're consumers for the most part. We like to spend. We spend on Netflix. We spend on uh, freaking Amazon Prime, <laughs> iPhones. You name it. We spend. We consume a lot. That's yeah, I'm about problem. to upgrade my phone next week. Yeah, absolutely right, man. And for no reason, yeah, too. We, yeah, we spend. That's that's how we are. We, we spend a lot of money. But the thing of it is, is that a lot of people are not taught financial literacy. And you can learn that uh, from the from, from a, a click of a button on YouTube. Just go YouTube, type how to build credit, all that stuff. You can do it. It's easy to do. But people just, their priorities are not in order. They're not. Can't argue that. Can't but oh yeah, so, again, yeah, so I, I, still, I still think that there's roadblocks that are put intentionally put in place really? to keep people from achieving. How is it a roadblock but, but when African Americans are nearly spend two trillion dollars? Where's the roadblock at? <laughs> two trillion dollars. Um, if I give you, can y'all hear me? If I give yeah. you, if I give you a million dollars, yeah. and and in so many ways, I basically fix it to where all you can do is just give me that money back. To me, that's what's going on with, with that. Money. What do you mean you have to? You don't have to do it. It's all about discipline. The thing of it is, people aren't disciplined. Instead of I... see, instead of taking the thousand, hold up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give the mic to you, Athena. I know you're about to go off and drop jewels. It's cool. I'm gonna let you do it in just a second. I'm gonna, I want to save this point. Instead of taking that one thousand dollars and using it to build a business, they'll take the same thousand and buy a bag or shoes with it or iPhone with it. Yeah, you know I mean, like, come on now. I agree. It's crazy. I'm gonna pass the mic to a thing. That's, that's not everybody. But go ahead. Yeah, sorry. I am. I am literally outside right now, so I cannot talk very loud and I cannot talk for long. I just came up to say one thing. Um, I wanted to say that Citigroup actually in 2021 themselves admitted that they racially discriminate against Black Americans. They released a report where they themselves said that for the past 20 years, so for the past two decades, that they explicitly discriminated against black americans and that discrimination cost um the u.s economy 16 trillion dollars they didn't talk about credit they didn't talk about anything else they said themselves that they were discriminating against black americans what was the time um, frame again the past 20 years 20 years so the, my man talking about 20, 20, past, 20 years no since 2000 was the time frame <laughs> and so this was released in 2020 and they released it because they noticed that they were losing money and the u.s economy was also losing money 16 trillion dollars so they didn't release it because they cared about black americans or racism they released it because they noticed that them discriminating against black people was costing them money you Bank see, of America and Wells Fargo. Up. Wait, hold on. You said that you said that it had to do with um, credit score when that wasn't the case. In Citigroup's case, it was explicitly discriminating against black people and not allocating them loans and Wells Fargo as well and Bank of America as well. And when it comes to um, when it comes to Damn, I was gonna say something. I forgot it. <laughs> you guys mentioned something. Housing, um, education. When it comes to, 
housing discrimination exists as well what the brookings institute exactly the brookings institute found that a poor white family was more likely to get a loan than a middle class white family which showed and proved that discrimination was happening um regardless of credit score so the idea that it only has to do with credit score and the idea that it only had to do with discipline is not true because these oh yeah i'm about to forward about themselves to and they have said that they have been racially discriminating against oh, really black people. okay so le- okay let's give you that you mentioned three banks. How many banks are there total in the United States of America? Well, How many uh, of them? <laughs> How many Citigroup of them? Citigroup is huge. You're moving, uh-huh. you're moving yeah. the well, goalposts. So thank so you, sad. too. Well, you're you moving the goalposts. I'll let you run. I'll let no you run. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Now, now, hold up. Now, hold up. Hold up. Now, now I'm about to go <laughs> off. See, I heard, I heard wait, you. Wait, wait, so now wait, 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 wait. I'm going to answer that question. There's 4,844 commercial banks in America. Hell yeah. Yes, and City uh, Citigroup is not one single bank. It's an association of various banks. Citigroup um, is not one single bank. Citibank is the group uh, is the bank, and Citibank belongs to Citigroup, which is an association of various thousands of banks. And the fact that hundreds of banks, sorry, and the fact that they themselves admitted that they were discriminating against black people, which you said that that didn't exist. That just proved your that. point wrong. I never said that. I never no, said it didn't said, exist. No, no, but you no, said it had no. You, when I was coming in, you said it had to do with credit score. Said, you said that people were not being wrong. disciplined, and it, and and banks were not discriminating against black people because of their blackness, but they were. It no, had to see, do with no, credit no, no, score. that's not what I said. That's not what I said. Listen, listen, listen. Mm-hmm. Let's dial it back. This is what I said. What I said was, historically, I never denied that these things happened. Right. And I also didn't deny that here and there, those things might happen. But by and large, it doesn't happen because why? We live in a capitalistic society. And I I did say that people do have a low credit score due to discipline. Due to, and that is can do to increase one's credit score, but they will not do it because of what? Discipline. That is true. That is true. That's the only thing. Now, yes, again, but... you can bank and, 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 and hold up, hold up, and you can bank shop too, like I did. I was able to get a $15,000 uh, business loan from who? Navy Federal. You see, you have Navy Federal. You also have Chase, I... which, which, hold up, uh-uh. You have Chase that actually targeted African-Americans to give them loans in Louisiana. Did you know that? Did you know that? Did you know that these are you mentioned? Like I said, you mentioned what two or three banks that maybe did uh, practices of racism. I'll give you that. Yes, but eventually, City Group had to stop it. The they had to stop it. Do you know why they had to stop it? Because we live in a capitalist society. They're going to pay for it. Racism first does of all, not. Pay. First of all, they yeah. didn't. Yeah. No, first of all, they did not stop it. Second of all, you made it sound as if it ended in the 1960s when this happened in the past 20 years. I was alive in the past 20 years. You were also alive in this past 20 Are they years. Still doing 20 it? years ago, yes. they still did not stop doing it. They said that they're going to be racially auditing and they're going to try to impl- uh, implement policies to stop doing it, but they still haven't stopped doing it. No. Listen, the Brookings, the Brookings Institute... Or... Okay, go OSA. Go. OSA. The three banks that I mentioned will actually city groups on a bank again. It's an association of, of banks. Three of them are huge. They're large. The fact that the three, one of some of America's greatest, like biggest banks, are coming forward and admitting that they discriminate against black people, that it lost the American economy sixteen trillion dollars over two decades, that is not something light that happens another thing as well is when we all not only look at banking but when we look at medical racism Preach. i will i will also send you the studies the fact that um, um there was a study that was published in the national library of medicine that showed that regardless of income, regardless of health care plan, regardless of environmental factors, Preach. black women at every single income level Preach. were up to three to four times more likely to die during childbirth. Preach. Tell them what? Tell them what? And so, Tell them what? yes, there are various, various reasons because up to one year after to childbirth. And they are taught this nonsense in their medical. These are people with doctor degrees. They're taught that the, the black woman's tolerance of pain is such that they don't need medication. They don't need treatment. They yes. don't need blah, 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 blah. I and the association. No, I, I, have I, I have never yeah, been able to find anything that that proves that. I can I, I can only, send it to you. The, the American. The only place I've ever heard that is TikTok. Was an Indian dude. Indian okay, so Scala. 
no, no, hold on, Scala. The American Association of Medical Colleges released an article in 2019. You can Google that right now, where they um, collected various studies. The American Association of Medical Colleges. Of colleges. Um, of okay. American so- Medical Colleges, yes. American Association of Medical Colleges. They release an article um, about black patients' pain not being believed. In that article, they stated various studies that were done by the medical industries and also by medical colleges that showed up to 44% of white medical residents believed that black people's blood coagulated differently, that they had higher pain tolerance, that their skin was... I can't find what you're talking thin- about I'm still trying to figure the out... The American, American I I, Association... I, I black. We don't believe black people's pain. It's literally okay, there. It doesn't come up. Okay, so where did Google you see this? American right, how about Google Tuskegee experiment. Maybe you can No, no, hold on. Not the Tuskegee experiment. Listen, Google I, I American I know what you're talking about is different, but I'm giving him a different example since he can't find what you're talking about. Okay, if you if you Google Scala, if you Google American Association of Medical Colleges Black Pain, there's an article from 2019 or 2020, I think, that shows the, all the studies that were done, where they also admitted that they uh, that um, uh, medicine, the, the medical industry in America, doesn't take black pain seriously, which leads to death. Harvard also did a study about this with regards to black women having a higher maternal mortality rate. Preach. Okay, can I, can I, can I respond, Athena? I'm, now... I still asked you to send me the medical stuff. You still didn't, but I'll still wait for it if you have it. So I still want to go back to the whole idea of the banking, right? Now, again, I never said that racism was gone completely. However, in a capitalistic society, eventually, most of these things... Though, bro. You said that. I, listen, 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 listen. <laughs> I didn't say that it was completely gone, but I'm saying for the most part, as far That's as that being a barrier is. for our individual success <laughs> of the season, yes, it is dead. There is nothing holding us back. And I do stand by that statement, 100%. Now, to go, back to, the, to go back to the banking, you mentioned three banks out of 4,800. L- to be fair, let's be real. Like I said, if, they, if you go to one bank, here's the lesson. The thing of it is, is this. If Citigroup has been discriminated for 20 years, I won't deny it. Maybe that is true. They're losing revenue as a result. They can't sustain that very much longer. If you're an individual who can't get a loan based on your color, then you bank shop and go somewhere the fuck else. Eventually, the bank is going to take the hint. And if they don't, they're going to suffer and they're going to be out of existence. Right? The fact is, is that we live in a capitalistic society and racism really doesn't pay. If you're caught being racist and it's exposed, then your bottom line is going to hurt. Just like city groups is. Just like city groups is. You said it yourself. They've lost trillions of dollars as a result. Big city group didn't lose that money. The U.S. economy lost the money. Well, if they lose the money, if the economy loses the money, then by default, they will lose too. That, that's common sense. That's what that is. They're going to yes. lose. Too. And Citigroup is also not one bank. Citibank is one bank, but Citibank is a part of various banks that belongs to Citigroup, which is an association. It's not one single bank. Yeah, but it's a bank branch, but you have 4,800 in the U.S. to deal with. Like I said, you also yes, have but case, you pretended, case not a part of city group. You pretended like this wasn't happening, Osa. I was listening to you, which is why I even joined. You I pretended. Said racism wasn't gone completely. No, you, didn't that. you said it was no, dead, bro. You pretended like this was happening in the 1950s and it's not happening anymore. You say, I said say racism is dead as far as people keeping people far, uh, mm-hmm. uh, away from opportunity. Yes, it is. In other words, yeah, systematic racism dead. is not holding you back. From an opportunity, you think nobody, nobody is arguing. Nobody is arguing that systematic racism exists. Systematic racism yes. was Jim uh, Crow. Yes. Systemic racism is when policies are embedded with racism, and they and they hurt other people more than they do. The same way that Lee Atwater in the 1980s said that that when they write policies, they write them as abstract as possible, so that and I quote, "Blacks well, get well, hurt well, worse than Everybody whites." Everybody, hold the phone. I just read the article. I'm sorry, girl. If you read this, then you are full of shit. This article states that first and second year people in 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 um in doctor schools believe only forty percent believe that black people's skin are thicker than white skin. You know how many years you gotta be in in, in Wait, doctor no, no. school? Scroll, like six or seven. Down. 
This was down. where, oh, wait, no, let me finish. Scroll this was down. a survey taken from from only 40% of, uh, of them, of white people who, who attended this school. 44%. And, and, and in the first and second year, they believed this. This scroll doesn't down. say that at the no, end of it down. that they believed this. Scroll down. Scroll I just down read and the read. whole article, the no, whole you thing, didn't. and this is written, no, you written by one person. No, 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 you this didn't. This is not... You didn't you're, you're, throw you're down. You were trying to make it look like that no, this no, no, was no, indoctrinated no, no. No, across on. doctors all across the the, no. the, the country. It was. You, did, you didn't read the this whole thing. This was a survey thing. once again from people who were just in no. their sec, first or second year of medical school. That was medical one school, uh, uh, pop, scholar. Like, takes how long? That was scholar. That was one. I just read the article. No, the, you no, didn't like, read you the article. No, you lied. You're, you're, you're article. literally lying, scholar. You're no, being disingenuous. Read the whole no, thing because that wasn't the only thing that was mentioned. The that, 44% that was the only no. thing you brought up, and this no. clearly says that this was read, only taken, and there was only 40% of white students read in the first the second. Read the whole article. Read the whole article. You didn't. You're lying. Okay, You're yo, a lady, flat out liar. Block this girl. She's a liar. You're blocking wait, wait, me wait, because I'm telling the truth. You're blocking me because I'm telling the truth. You are a liar. I'm telling the truth, so you're blocking me. You didn't read the article. You're lying. No, 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 no. You're Stop lying. That. You're you lying, scholar. You think read what you pull up no, and just no, believe No, you know what? what? I'm going to get home. This whole article gonna... is like three paragraphs. You're a liar. Read, read, read the article. Read the whole article. You're I gaslighting me, right? No, you didn't. I just told you I you did. You're lying. It's in front of me. Because, here. no. It is. No. It's right here. I just read Because it. the 44... No. You're a liar, man. Stop doing that. Yo, this is why you can't have discussions with nobody. People just say don't, random shit and they expect you not, not to read not or look into what you're saying. It's more, it's more than just that article. It's not random. Don't okay, her, okay don't well, then her. this Bring is the article she pulled up and this is what the article says. Freaking lying. Yo, I'm done with people, man. This I hate. Yo, you know what pisses me off? I waste my time to Google this and read this just to find out the person who brought it up is a freaking liar. Like, wasting my time reading this article from beginning to end just to find out this is not even close to what she said it was. That's exactly what she said. No, it's not. She said, she I just said, said it said 40% of this, medical students are, are walking away. With medical disbelief. students in their first or second year, only 40% of them believe that black people have thicker skin, has nothing to do with pain. Nothing to do with pain. Just, to, just to say they means. think they have thicker skin in their first or second year. That's what do you it. Think the colloquialism "thicker skin" means. Ah, shut up, man. I'm talking about the it article. Means, I don't give a damn means, about anything else to say. The article when she based it at there was a complete skin. lie. Take it with somebody. A complete lie. Yo, stop lying. This, this, this is why. You this this is why people with. like this always get looked at as crazy. People say stuff like this, lie about it, hope nobody comes and reads it. Once they read it, they're gonna be like, "Yo, this was a whole lie. Everything you said." Is you blocked me because you knew I was fucking true. You, I was fucking right. You're Doctor a fucking again. liar, scholar. Your You're a liar. You mad because I read it. You, you mad that somebody had a computer in front of them to read your lies? Stop lying, man. You, you don't have to lie to make a point. You could just say in your opinion, and it'll work the same way. The fact that you got to lie and say there's an article out here that says that every doctor in the country just believes that black people can't feel Nobody pain, said, and then you, and then you point me to this, which has nothing to do with that. You're a liar. Nobody said every doctor. Oh. It's like nobody saying every. Oh yeah, no, she didn't. Well, I recorded everything, <laughs> and it'll be on YouTube. That's exactly what she was uh, coming to the conclusion of. And this article had nothing to do with that. It just had to do with thicker skin. Nothing okay. to do with Can hear me. Can y'all hear me? Wasting my damn yeah. time reading this shit. Fucking okay. Oh my well, God. I'm I like just wanted to. I was like, you need to do some more. I just reading wanted to. Read yeah, me to read it. Well, I read what you told me to read, and she lied about it. <laughs> you need it. to expand your worldview, man. You need to see what's going on in other people's lives. Just because the shit ain't. I don't right, right. Somebody, who somebody who lies? Somebody who lies? Just because it ain't you, don't mean it's not true. I, yeah, I don't can, care I can about that. I'm not talking yeah, about nothing you. except what she okay. lied about. Well, well, this I'm just going to say this. I think that um, everyone can be racist in their own way. I think everyone's experience and depending on where you live will determine, I guess, how you feel about racism and like what goes on in your everyday life. Like he says, racism... Um, it can or it cannot hold you back. So I talk pretty, pretty plain. I'm not going to use no big words or nothing like that. But I mean, I'm in Texas. And if I'm in an area that's majority black, 
then of course racism isn't gonna, going to hold me back. But like, I think it's, an, I don't know y'all's names or whatever, but um, everybody's experience is different. Racism is not dead. Um, I guess it all depends on how much you feed into the racism. But, and like I now- I don't you to interrupt, to- but could you give me your definition of, or the difference between racism and prejudice against somebody's race? What, what do you think? Is there a difference? Is it the same thing? For me, the I can, or the I can, definition. We, we know I'm the definition, gone. sweetheart. I'm, I'm saying what the, the definition that you're giving me is, is leaving me with racism is basically prejudice against somebody's race. And and so that's and why I'm trying, I, I out, I'm trying to figure out when, when people can use that against you, when people can oppress you, what, what word do y'all want to call that? Because that's what I'm talking about. That's systemic. Right. Okay. Well, see, I know I'm gonna tell you. I'm just like plain and plain and simple. Like racism, prejudice. To me, they all it's all the same because if you look at me and y'all talk about race, but skin color. Um, if you look at me and you say, "Okay, what's her race?" or you're looking at me and say, "Oh, she's black." So, oh, she's black, and when I go in for a, a job and it says, "Oh, she's black," well, we're not gonna hire. Her. Is that keeping me from making money or is that keeping me from making money just there? And he and he brought I'd up like he ladies, brought up lady uh, he brought uh, up the bank lady. and I I'm a licensed I'm a licensed realtor also. And so let's talk about like he said, let's talk about appraisals. I think I've seen a story with the black family that had pictures of themselves up on the wall and their home was appraised a lot less. The, and then they had their white the friends come pictures. in with their pictures. I heard about that. Yeah. Right. I had a right. personal friend do that, and they got completely different numbers. So I think for someone to say racism, now racism, it's all about how you think about it. I'm not going to let somebody hold me back just because they don't like me because I'm black. You get what I'm saying? So you can go somewhere else. You can what if, do. What if they have the power to, to overcome that, though? We all have the power to overcome um, racism. I honestly believe really? that. Okay. I do. Because so you so have you wanna, to. You want to, going back to your, your same example, you want to buy a house. I'm, I'm, the, I'm the bank. I see your name on the application. I deny you just because I can't pronounce your name. Right. You can you can overcome that. You just you're gonna keep on going to different banks and get the same experience you, everywhere you go. And and let me tell you, you I think you're black. I can't see your whole face. I'm but you black. being a black person, you should know that shit. Sometimes people you're gonna be denied because you're black, or you're gonna be denied because you're Mexican, or you're gonna that's, that's just that's, that's, that's exactly what this whole discussion is about, right? Right, but then you gonna and so let me ask this question. If I say, Oh, I only want I only want to work a play at a place that's majority African American or majority black. Would that be considered prejudice or racist? Okay. I would say that's prejudice. Because you're you're prejudging what your experience would be like at non black companies. To me, No, I said if I if I only want to work at a place with nothing but black people. Yeah, that's what I said. You're you're judging what it's gonna be like to work with white people. Right? You're prejudging. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna have a good experience if I work with white people. That's that's a prejudgment, right? But would that wouldn't that also be racist? Yep, it by, would by, be racist. Because you by, got a picture of it. Well, what, yeah. what if a white person said that? Uh real quick, DJ, if a white person said that just they just want to work around white people, how would you consider that? I would say the same thing. That's that's prejudging what they're trying oh, to do. Okay. I yeah, think I'm not going to that because, race, so because I racist. believe I believe what, what, what you guys are calling two six. plus two is four. Yo, what are you doing, man? You know yeah, damn well if de- somebody the said that, that online, that there would be a lot of people who would say that white person is racist because oh, they definitely. said that that they only want to work around white people. Definitely, I I feel like I mean. And I don't separate the two between races and prejudice. To me, it all falls under being racist. And I guess at times, maybe I can be a bit racist because if I prefer, I prefer to be around other people that may look like me only because we might have the same experiences. And can you so, deny, can you deny these people that you don't like? From from ex- extending that right or exercising that right, rather. Nobody could deny anybody's right for nothing. Nobody has the power. 
Sure they what? Come on. No, they man. don't, man. Why Come do you on, keep man. saying that? Who has the power, no, DJ? Ain't. Tell me, who has the power? Banks have power to deny loans. Governments <sighs> have power to, to deny people rights that they've been doing that for well, I, I just want to say, I just want to say, you know, racism. Have rights to, to deny you access to a certain place because they don't like the way you look. Come on, man. You can't right. do that. And we, I mean, okay, but so, okay, so you're talking about individual racism. You're not talking no, about I'm talking about, I'm talking about groups that, that have power to deny groups. I'm not talking about Joe don't like Tommy or Sue don't like Simon. Yeah, but that's individual. About, that's individual because you can't calculate body. that. To like a, a like a countrywide problem. You're talking about individuals. It's like you win some, you lose some. You never know. No, you know in this country. <laughs> no, you don't. I don't. Yeah. I don't want to. I want to say something. I might sound weird. What's the excuse for me? It's we all personal experience. So I'm not. I'm not gonna say it. it's absolute. You know. Is yeah, that well, I'm okay exactly. because let me tell you this. I have a wealthy family member that is a black. African American woman, exactly. and she works exactly. in oil. She works in oil and gas, um, but it didn't stop her from getting to where she is in the industry. But she deals with racism every day, so I think it depends on how you how you deal with it. But for someone to say racism is dead, racism is not dead. No, nobody's saying that. No, of course racism. Racism could well, never be gone. That, that's not the point of this. Okay, well tell me what's the point. <laughs> what is your point? Because I think everything... The, the, the point in black and white is to say that anybody can display racist behavior. Individual racism doesn't exist. Now me personally, I don't believe in systematic racism. I don't think there's anything in place to stop anybody of uh, stopping BIPOC people, whatever you want to call them, from doing anything. Well, let me ask you this. Exactly. If you, we can give you examples. Well, I can give you examples. If you see two students, one white, one black, and they do the same offense, let's just say they get in a fight, and one student is sent to juvenile, and the other student is sent um, let's, they were just suspended. Like from my perspective, and I want to say maybe a, a you know people like to say black people throw a race card, but sometimes it's like you, see, you see two of the same offenses, and you see the black student ends up going to juvenile, ends up with the record. So what we're would talking you, about a what if situation, and like okay, let's, let's well, no, these, are, these are actually these are actually things that goes on. I mean, I don't. And I come on now. I've been harassed. Um, y'all, y'all help me with the names here. Since he wants, my man wants real examples. What was the yeah, real example? All right, wait, 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 but real quick, and, and just to counter that, right now there's a homeless white person, and then on the other side of the world there's Michael Jordan. Oh yeah. What about we're that? not saying we're not, and I'm gonna tell you from, yeah, from my that, that, that's a real life situation. I'm pretty sure there's some homeless white people can somewhere. I that one? So can I every. <laughs> Everybody's experience is not the same. It doesn't matter what race, what color you are. But people that have experienced racism or like, I mean, maybe you haven't, have you experienced racism, um, Scholar? No, I don't think so. Clearly. I've been pulled over quite a few times, more times than I could count in uh, in Florida, particularly. But I can't, I'm not, I can't say or, or say that it wasn't racism or it was. I don't know that. I mean, there were white cops, but am I going to sit there and be like, had to be? I don't know that shit. Well, how, I'm not well, going to sit here and say it was or it wasn't. Well, I guess you've never had anybody call you a slur or anything because of your race? I have. No, no, no. Not you said person. no? You said no, because I'm looking at... I'm looking at you and I'm and I might just be assuming so, and I'm looking at your appearance and I'm like, in general, all of us should have had some type of racist experience where you know that it's racist. Like if somebody, I don't know if I'm going to get blocked, but like me personally, I always like, I've never bumped into a Karen, but I've definitely bumped into some racist. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I think it's regional where, where when it comes to stuff like that. When, when like, so you're saying you live in the, ta in, the, in the South and you dealt with like, you have people call you racist things? Well, I live in the South and I know that some experiences are racist. Let's just say I go into a store and, oh, I went in a restaurant 
And the funny thing was the girl that I was with, that's why I say race and everything else is weird. She appears to be black, but I guess she's Spanish or Hispanic. And we were in a Mexican area and they didn't, they didn't service us. They passed over us and went to service, I guess, more people that look like them. Hold on a second. Kampala, I see you in the comments. I'm not going to bypass other people that I want to speak. You could come back up if you could just hold on. Ain't nobody scared of your article. Nobody's scared of you. <laughs> just chill out. She's still talking about it. <laughs> I, but I'm just saying. This no, but wait, 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 wait. Real quick, I think that's regional. Like, we're like, look. Don't get me wrong. I don't know why some people in the comments get this twisted, like, because I haven't experienced racism. I know racism exists. I'm not saying it doesn't. That's the okay. weirdest thing to say. Of course it exists. But I'm just saying, like, when it comes to the South, it's regional. Like, I think out there is more, you could be more open to racism. Up here in the, in the East, the North, we never really had that shit to begin with. So, I mean, where would I experience that? Like, I think if there was a racist up here, they'll be scared to, to show that. Because once I come in, there's somebody else behind me who comes in and looks exactly like me. Then there's a black person. They're like, yo, like, so how are you going to be racist? You know what I'm saying? Like, the South is kind of different like that. That's why I don't really like the South. But Right. But I think I'm going to say this, and then I'm going to get off. This is my first time being on live. I actually like having these discussions. But um, a lot of people... A lot of black people, I'm speaking because I'm black. I'm not speaking for everyone. We don't let racism hold us back. So just because we don't let it hold us back doesn't mean that it's not hard or it's not difficult or um, people are uneducated. Yeah, some people are un uneducated because no one in their family is educated. So it does seek for people to go out and seek certain education and this and that. But some of those things, if if you if you have a great, 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 great grandfather, I went all the way back, that that was educated and then they taught the next person and they taught the next person, those kind of things are passed down. So when we talk about um, like what happened a hundred years ago doesn't affect us now, it definitely does, it does whether it be um, <laughs> mentally or, you know, a lot of stuff causes trauma. And I just feel like some people can't relate. It's not going to be relatable or our experience is going to be different from the next. But that's yeah. it, y'all. Thank you for liking the live. What, what I would say is that, yo, Coca-Cola will never go out of business as long as Lady Grim is alive. Yeah, Lady Grim, yo, you always got a Coca-Cola can in your hand, man. I'm like, I you should get a sponsorship or something. Yeah, yeah, you need a sponsorship. Hey, Hit them up, yo. Listen, you can't you can't be promoting that for free. The yo, all that. the time. I, I, I just think about Coca-Cola. She can be... She drinking it, showing the logo and everything. I'm like, yo, again. Yeah. You, you have eleven thousand likes in here and over hundred people. Nah, man, Coke got to pay for it. Don't, don't. I don't want to see you drinking Coke again unless you have a sponsorship. Ain't that right? And I think somebody said, but today the knowledge is out there. Yeah, the knowledge is out there, but I don't know. Um, yeah, it's out there. I mean, the knowledge is out there. It's there for the taking, but, man. But it's like, the knowledge is out there, but sometimes. Trauma can keep people from knowledge. Or if somebody hasn't seen someone with a million dollar house, how do they know they can get a million dollar house? You can look at TV and see it all the time. But in, in, in your family, if everyone in your family is staying in housing, if everyone in your family is doing this, it somewhat becomes a normal. And especially but, but, here's the, but here's the but here's the deal. Like I said, information is free. The internet is free, man. So it's like, I mean, if, if this was 1955, 1960, I'd be like, all right, I get it. You know, I mean, there were barriers in place there. They were keeping us from the information. I would say, yes, I'll give you that. But now it's like, it's at our fingertips. It's literally, uh, we have the uh, access of wealth to information literally in our own pocket, right? But it's sometimes so easy to it's make gonna take a person right. like you to go to those areas and tell kids, the information is out there because they're not looking for that information. They may be looking for something else because if they don't see the next person with it, they don't think they can have it. And I've worked in this and I've worked in the school district and I'm in Houston and 
you can just tell the difference in between how can I say it? Certain areas where people want to call the hood or where you know where MLK Black is. Where the school the schools are tore up or stuff like that's still happening in 2023. I, I don't disagree with that, but the thing of it is we don't really need the schools to educate us anymore when you have YouTube University. Like do you yeah, but if you don't you're not really typing need... it into YouTube, if you're not typing if you're not typing it in, how would you know? I'm speaking from you because type... the things some people if you grow as a child, um, if you're not exposed to certain things, then what? I wasn't exposed to it either. Listen, I came like all the all the bullshit that a lot of these people went through. I went through it 10 times worse. I lost my father at 14 years old. I moved from Dallas, Texas to Jackson, Mississippi in the middle of the hood at, at Verdant Edition Projects. And at that time, mur the murder capital was not St. Louis. It wasn't Jackson. It wasn't uh, Chicago. It was Jackson, Mississippi. I lived in the thick of it with not a father in my house at all. So well, that, how did somebody but, like me? So hold on, hold up. So how did somebody like me go for broke, being uh -huh. homeless, sleeping, sleeping on out uh, on a park bench, uh, going from place to place, not having anywhere to live, uh, donating plasma to be able to support myself because I didn't have a job, to now making over six figures, doing uh, working as a real estate agent? How does that happen? Well, th you're like, blessed. I'm you're blessed, and your mindset said it got to be something out here better than that. Some people don't have that mindset. Some people don't think it's nothing out there better than what they have or better than what the person next to them have. Every it's a it's a mindset. You're blessed. You were able to do that for yourself. But I don't think like yes. I guess we have to realize that like some people doesn't everybody doesn't have the same mindset as you and some things shit one 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 bad mistake can alter like your whole life and your whole experience no, I, I hear you i hear you but my i always go by this thing seeking you shall find like i didn't know all this stuff either you know what i mean i i, I unfortunately but you I had an idea it. in your head that there was something better no my idea was I said, okay, I know there has to be something. Let me look. Let me let me see what exactly. I can find. Because I didn't know anything about credit. I didn't know, you know what I'm saying? I didn't know nothing about credit scores and capitalism and in and, and, and commerce and business and how uh, tax code works and all that. And, and appraisals. Like, I knew nothing. Or stocks and bonds or, or, or real estate investment trusts or Vanguard. I even know what none of that stuff was. It's, it's, it's. An emotional topic, but I hope a lot you of light because it, it's, it's a short trip to Blickety Block land. A lot of black people don't consider <laughs> themselves racist, but if I talk, if I say something about a white person, and or if I feel some type of way about a, right, a white person, and I say, "Oh, trailer trash," I'm probably gonna be considered racist. That is racist. <laughs> Calling yeah, anybody out of their name and using something to to define their race as being racist. Okay, but but you know a lot of a lot of black people feel like we didn't. It's almost like something like we didn't start it. Yeah. We didn't start it. So how can we be white? Bulb. Somebody started the light bulb. So does that mean the only type of people who can use a light bulb is the same type of person that created it? I mean, yo, and you imagine, that, yo, imagine if the person who created the toothbrush was white. Well, I'm going to say this. I don't think I'm racist, but I definitely believe I can be very prejudiced. And gotcha. if, if I'm not racist. I love all people, but I definitely can and be very prejudiced. And no better. Being prejudiced is no better. It's still just as nasty and horrible. Well, but in the sense of when I say I could be prejudiced, it's like, okay, I don't want to go to this restaurant because... Not when I walk know. in, it's a group. It's nothing but white people. Oh, I can say it. I went to this line dancing place. And the truck I parked behind had a Confederate flag on it. And it was only us three black people at the line dancing place. And I said, well, I definitely don't want to go back to this side of town. And I don't want to go back into that that establishment because it's nobody that looks like me. Am I being prejudiced? I feel like I'm just protecting myself. 
Well, I guess anybody can feel that way then and not feel racist. Even a white person, if they feel like they don't want to go to certain parts of a town because they feel scared mm-hmm. and they can just say that they're prejudiced, that should be okay too then. And I mean, I think that is, maybe I'm part of the problem, but I think that's pretty much, like, I'm not going to go, no, I'm, it's almost like, I think I heard a story of, I'm trying to find this you. man was like, there's a whole bunch of alligators outside the door, and let's just say all the alligators are white people, but he has that one alligator that's his friend. Is he going to keep the door open and let them all in until his friend gets there, or is he going to close the door to protect himself? Mm. Listen, I don't think it's ever smart to like when people bring up the past as a reason why to be racist in the present is a, is a dumb. We could go back as far as you want to, and if that's the case, then we, then we should be allowed to do whatever we want to to whoever we want to, because every every culture, everything has some nasty part in their history. Where'd you put it? And that we could pull from if you really want to. Just because of the, the history here isn't really that old and most people can freaking bring it up really quick doesn't mean anything. You think so? I think so. Uh, I don't know, man. Well, and like I said, our experience is different. I'm in Texas. I, I think you're in Florida. But I'm about to get off. And I did say this is funny. That S on the back of your wall, I used to draw that all over my tablets in grade school. Yeah, I put it up because, you know, like my name is Street Scholar, right? So in case somebody forgets my name, they're going to that's going to ring a bell in their head and it's going to remind you of the S. And then they'll probably remember my name based off of that. Like, what was his name? Oh, yeah. He had that S on his wall. Scholar, maybe in a word, probably not. But sometimes you be talking like you don't want to listen to nobody else, Scholar. I listen to everybody. I, just, I, I think don't it becomes a problem. It's weird. I think it becomes a problem when people are trying to debate, but they're debating. They're debating using opinion and not actually the definitions, and they're trying to create exclusions where there are no exclusions, and that's where the issue lies. Like you can just say you don't like the definition, and that's more honorable than just to be right. like, "Well, no, that's not true." When it is true, take it at face value, accept it, and let's make a better society. And I think that's going to be, how can I say it? I think the younger generation of kids are doing a better job with acceptance. Um, it is what it is. I don't know. It was a lot said today. I don't, think so. I, I don't think so. I don't think so because I see... At least on the internet, I see a lot of younger people so filled with hate over something that never happens to them. It's crazy. I don't get it. I think anybody filled with that much hate over something that specifically didn't happen to them is weird because I always bring this up. My ancestors were slave slaves. What the, What is the difference between me and a person whose who's ancestors of this country were slaves? Like, but I, think I, that's I don't be- constantly bring it up because I don't give a shit. It doesn't affect me today. It has nothing but to I do with me today. I think that's an opinion of yours to think that they are basing it off of the past. They might no, actually be experiencing it now. Uh, nobody's a slave in America right now. I'm not talking about. I'm not talking about as far as being a slave, but I'm talking about as far as racism and their interactions. No, with racism. These- yes, racism exists. Nobody's denying racism. Anybody, like I said, anybody could be racist. If racism will never go away. It's part of human nature, unfortunately. Like that's not what I'm saying. Like. I, I would never try to tell somebody racism doesn't exist. Anybody could be feel racism at a job, at work, whatever the hell. School. And, and you can admit that racism affects everyone differently, correct? Yeah. You could be a crybaby or you could not be. So. Yeah, but what I don't like to do is... But there's no law for mama, racism. So somebody who hasn't experienced something based off their skin color and then they they they, they do for the first time that could do some damage to their psyche. Oh, I mean, yeah. Just, I mean, even to- even towards a white kid or a white oh, yeah. kid, for sure, it affects people different. Oh, definitely. But I, I want to say that I hope the kids are doing better, Scholar. And um, 
it's so much that ties into this that it's never going to be something just straight, clear, and cut as far as mm -hmm. this fix racism. Because you have people that are with that. Yeah, you can be racist against your own race, right? I don't mm -hmm. get into all that race ethnicity and I don't get into all of that because I'm one of those people I shouldn't, when you see someone, assume oh, well they white. Oh, but they're black. Oh, they're Mexican. But a lot of people think like that also. We look and so it is what it is. Okay. Y'all quiet now? No, I, I, no the, the new question who just came up. I thought they were going to unmute and say something. Oh, wait one second. Sorry, I brought you. I know you had Sorry, something to do, but me. that girl wanted to talk about you. So I was like, wait till his ass come up in here again. But what I was going to say is I don't believe white people experience racism or anything. And only solely because we are not just going around calling white people crackers lies or mayo monkey lies. Just because, i see that all the time on tiktok lies. just just because no lies we are specifically talking shit to racist white people yeah but you consider racist people who differ from you i've been called a racist for so long because i believe anybody can be racist does that make me a racist no so therefore i get called all sorts of names racial names based off that alone so and, and, and that's yeah, I mean, I'm gonna say I have to. I have to just you on that. Your whys no. behind you call people that is just so. It's just not true. They're not being racist. If you're going to call me a slur and you think I'm not gonna say something back to you, that's gonna hurt your. You feelings. realize it's more damaging for a you're white fucking person. out of your mind. It is you're, so much more damaging for a white skinned you person to call a darker skinned person any type of slur whatsoever because they get destroyed. But a darker is. skinned person calling a white skinned person, whoever they are, whatever ethnic background they come from, a slur, it's like nothing. It's just bullying. It's just name calling. You just can't take it. There's a why. There's a justification. Girl, come up in here and be real. In, in your opinion, why do you think that is? I agree with I you, by the way. give a damn why it is. She said why she thought it was is because they deserved it and they're being racist. But half the time when you're calling a white-skinned person racist, it's because they're not even being racist. They just don't agree with you. No. Example, no. Most of the time, my background. it you is know because they're so you, you being you have, racist you have, based off this thought. You have no, no opinion on why you think that, that reality exists? What, history? Is that your go-to? I'm, I'm just saying, you know... I, I I was struggling with with the definition because right if if we're not speaking the same language then the debate is pretty much useless. There's but only your, one your language. Your definition, and it's the facts of the definition. Your definition, the definition that you're using, you're leaving out like a, a good third of the definition. No, exactly. because I'm I'm talking yes, about the one part which is the individual. You can't talk about one part. You can't talk about one. Yes, part. you <laughs> can because we all already know about <laughs> systemic racism, but you don't want to hold yourself accountable no. for an individual level racist behavior. That's yeah, I don't problem. think it's right and for that's nobody. Why I'm going talking back, about I'm it. Going back to your definition, you exclude that part. You your just want to stick to systemic. And no, ma'am. Is typically against a, a a group of people <laughs> that is a oh my gosh, my or phone is dying. What does you make nothing mean? about that part of the definition? What does typically mean? It means on average, means usually. Okay, so there's still no exclusion. Um, I'm a minority and I have white skin. So you're you, attacking you be, white you skin people you're not, you're who are today. minorities that you don't even understand are You're not, you're not just yet, but you Because of their skin, which makes you racist that, still. That's why, that's, that's why that, that they have these abortion laws in place to try to make sure that you're not the minority. Actually, they're having abortion laws in place. Okay, so you're telling me by banning abortion, it's just for white people to grow more white people? That's exactly why. That's, that's exactly, exactly why. not what it is. <laughs> that is. That's exactly Because if it's anti-black people, then you're unable to harm your children as well, which would mean your population grows also. What are you talking about? <laughs> because more so than I do is for my you know you know I'll, I'll give you. I'll give you. Rather that. than that, 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 that was a good one. 
that's that's your opinion. I'll give you that. It's the truth. But if, if you really, if you really, think, that one. If you really think if you really think the governor of Georgia because put that law in place to increase the black population, you got to be the beginning of abortion. It does increase the black population. It increases the Asian population. It increases every population. That's the truth. Okay. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna let y'all. I'm gonna, too bad, too the, 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 my, 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 my lady that, that don't want to use full definitions and my man who don't want to look at the past. They started to harm the black community because <laughs> they hard thought. To, hard to debate with y'all. I'm sorry that not you, you, you don't know how, to, how the dictionary Turns works out, and how oh, how words I know how mean different works. things. I, I know that the dictionary is included. You don't, and I'm kind of done speaking with you because you just are falsifying so many. Like just the education level is not there for me. Um, is there any last things you would like to say, Yasmin? My thing is, how can we say, how can we different racism and racist? Like, why differentiate? Why are we saying racism and racist is not in the same category? It, okay, I want you to read my second part. I've read it. It doesn't make multiple sense times. To me. Just, it just read it again. Sense to me. Okay. Well, I will clarify it for you. Thank you racism as a system Mm -hmm. like what you like to talk about like policies cannot thrive meaning it can't become a thing without racist backing it which is the the majority must be racist people okay that's what creates racism hence jim crow laws they were backed by racist white people who were the majority therefore they were able to implement those laws however on an individual basis, regardless of a system behind you, the term racist just means a prejudice based off of somebody's race. That's another definition for racist, not racism. That's why I said racist can thrive without the system. You can be an individual racist. Towards that a race makes or ethnicity. No damn sense to me because if we because never you just, would have it's, racism, it's, you can't grasp it. There I would understand. be no term to call somebody racist. We'll continue to learn and come back when you're ready. I'm about to be out. Scala, thank you for joining me once again. It's been great. <laughs> what the? Oh my god, that was simple. good. It's like so simple. Scala, Scala, what's wait. What's two plus two? Well, it depends on what the color no, of your bro, skin is. What's two plus two? It depends on. Wait, what is your history regarding this two plus two? Come on, man. Was one of the twos treated indifferently way back when, <laughs> or was the two other two? two Justice. <laughs> no, the other two ever get justice? That's the only way I can two answer this. Plus two, he knows it. It will always be four. <laughs> Y'all, use this. Use. Wait, this. how did the other two get to this country? That's an important factor. A whole nother- Was it brought here? Did it want to come here? Really? Yep. So- <laughs> well, I'm out of here. I'll be on later. We'll be on at 10. 10, right? 10 ish? No, just, you should ten, put your sign 10 ish. Bag every day at 10 ish. I'm going to try to go on Lady Grim first, though, to see if my guest box are working. All right. But, all right, y'all.